Nena, I want to say congratulations is probably not enough. First career victory. I, needless to say, you are over the moon with the joy. Yeah, I am. All my emotions are running high right now, and I'm, I can't believe what just happened. I'm still in a loss of words, but it's. I just enjoyed the moment and the emotions, especially. It's just such a special feeling. You've been chasing this victory for a few times. What it means to finally have it? Oh, it's everything. I think that's what every athlete is dreaming of. And uh, I knew I had it in me and I was close a few times. But to do it in an individual and like that is just something really special for me. And I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> you should be also. We've seen so many girls congratulating you. Also, what, what does it mean to, to have this support from a lot of people around you, not just teammates? Uh, it's it's amazing. I love the Biathlon family. Like everyone is so close here, and like everyone is happy for uh, one another. And it's such an amazing feeling to see that when yourself, uh, it's my turn to be on the podium and like winning. Then everyone is so happy for me, and that makes me even like that overwhelms me of joy because it's such a great feeling and everyone is so kind to me and I love that. <laughs> You'll be wearing the red bib in Novemesto? How crazy is that? Uh, in an individual? Me? Red bib? What? <laughs> I, I think that's just from another world. I couldn't imagine it because I knew I had a good solid individual in uh, Sushind and now the win and then red, it's something else. <laughs> Can you get us through the competition today? Tough conditions, uh, not easy to read, but you had the perfect race. Yeah, um, I had pretty good uh, skiing today. Like I knew I couldn't go too fast from the start, but with a short individual, it's a little bit tricky because we never really done that before, like only when it was really cold or special conditions. So I knew it's something else, but I knew I couldn't overpace, especially here with the height. In the end, it's um, much harder than you think. And I knew I, uh, the shooting range is really important today. So I concentrated in the shooting on myself and some technical part of it to just not think about the what if, especially in the last standing. And uh, I think I could have like done everything as I planned in the beginning. And that makes me really proud. And also the last loop, it was so much enjoyment because everyone was cheering and the crowd was amazing and it felt so 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 great <laughs> so dickinson from us uh coming for you what happened on the track i, I overheard something <laughs> kelsey cheered me on on her like she was skiing on her lap and cheered for me while i was on my last loop and <laughs> couldn't believe it I was like what you're still in your own race and she's so cute that she done that and uh, I think she's uh, quite a good friend right now and um, it's something so special to see that everyone is so happy for me <laughs> so are we congratulations thank you very much <laughs> Julia uh, congratulations what a fantastic uh, ski performance of course two misses is probably not as many as you want but you were flying today yeah, thanks. Uh, it was a very good race, especially my ski time. I feel uh, really confident today. Uh, you know, it's not always that you have this feeling that you, you are in control of, uh, of your ski. So, yeah, it was a very good race. Uh, my shooting was also quite good. Two mistakes is too much for, for a win. But I'm really happy because I had a plan in my, in my head uh, this morning. And uh, I tried my best to, to do, to do a, a good, um, good shooting. Uh, stay in control, uh, stay calm, and it's something uh, that I think I can say that today it was okay. The conditions were probably not the easiest, the wind was changing a lot. Uh, what was your focus to, to try and not to get disturbed by this? Yeah, the wind uh, was uh, tricky today, but uh, I think uh, I was lucky, or at least I was really focused. So uh, on my on my on my uh, sorry, <laughs> prone shooting, uh, I was just thinking, okay, the wind is uh, is feel like uh, in the uh, in uh, same than the rowing, so 
yeah, go, <laughs> try to, to shoot, uh, to, to stay calm and to, to shoot clean. And uh, yeah, it was um, quite okay. And standing, uh, you know, here yeah, it's so hard. You are, uh, you are like this. <sighs> and so you just uh, try to breathe as much as you can. And uh, yeah, I think uh, one, one and one, it's, uh, it wasn't so bad, but uh, too much for, for the win today. What is uh, so special with you and Antos? Because it's not the first time you're doing a really good result here. Yeah, last year was uh, very bad for me, but um, you know, it's. I feel like um, yeah, sometimes when your shape is good here in Antols, uh, especially it's, it's so hard. So when you are in good shape, it's uh, it's quite easier to to be in front. And uh, yeah, today was good, so really happy and. Um, just need to stay focused uh, on the shooting range and then uh, some good race happen. <laughs> you think the uh, defending the yellow bib is now more possible? Uh, honestly, it's not my goal this year. Um, my big goal is the world champ, so we will see what, uh, what happens. But I think I'm still far away from this. And um, you still need uh, to be really consistent uh, during all the winter. and. Maybe it wasn't the best start of the season, but now I feel like, uh, okay, I know what I have to do for, for having some good race, so we will see at the end, but uh, it's not my main goal. Well, congratulations for today. Thank you. Lou, congratulations. Uh, very strong performance today. Back on the podium after a couple of flowers last week. How does it mean uh, for you to, to be back in the top three? I'm really happy to not have a false, uh, three false plays in a row. <laughs> it's the best thing today. Um, and I'm really happy to be back on the podium, yes. It's, uh, I feel um, so um, uh, re relieved uh, that my, uh, my shape is back and I feel good on skis and uh, uh, behind my rifle too. So it's a good day for me. The race today was a bit tricky with the conditions of the wind. As you said, the altitude here doesn't make it easy. Uh, how did you experience your race? Because you started really strong. You were leading for quite some time. Maybe at the end was a bit tired. Yes, um, it, was, um, it was special for me because I started with uh, bib number 50 and I saw many girls uh, shooting really clean uh, and I didn't expect that at all uh, with the, these conditions. So um, I think this uh, really helped me to, uh, to stay uh, really focused on um, very good shooting because uh, when I saw that, I told myself, okay, it must be uh, at least uh, a 19 or, or 20 uh, to, uh, to be uh, for the fight today, on the fight today. So um, it was uh, this kind of, um, uh, I don't know the name. Um, I, I, I don't know the name. <laughs> uh, exigence in French. Mm -hmm. um, be strong. Like you, m you must be really clean. A hundred percent perfect uh, clean race uh, today is uh, the best you can do. And, uh, and yes, it was difficult for me to finish this race because I started. Uh, it was my goal to uh, start uh, really strong and uh, and be fast. Because individuals sometimes you you just go slow because you're afraid of uh, individual long race and everything. So my goal was to start fight to start uh, really. Uh, fast and then we'll see. What did you think in the last shooting? Because of course there you knew that the chance was there. Uh, it was really awful because I started uh, cramping on my belly, on my legs and uh, and my coach just told me uh, all the lap uh, there are girls uh, two seconds behind, uh, one second behind <laughs> and I was like okay I'm, <laughs> I'm dying, <laughs> it's awful, I had the worst uh, feeling on my, uh, on my body I ever had I think, so um, it was really hard to finish this race. <laughs> so I'm happy that it was a short individual and not the long one? <laughs> yes, really, I, don't, I think the uh, last loop would have been horrible <laughs> on those uh, three kilometers. Well congratulations. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.